Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. And we're starting things off a little bit different today. As you can see up there in the sky, there's actually a sun this time. No uh, middle of the night episodes, though. However, by the time I finally get out of here, get this intro done and over with, it may very well be nighttime, because I am very bad at these. I don't know what's so challenging for me about just hitting the record button and going. I don't know why, I just have such issues with that. But anyways, welcome back to the Calamity Mod. It seems like all you guys were really enjoying the lab bases and getting a lot of good feedback about that. I will say that there is one thing that I added to this, and that is uh, the inability to use teleporters properly, is I added a fishing hole down here, kind of just put some random junk here and there, wood walls, because why not? So now I can stand up here if I wanted to, or just go down there and fish. I can stand up here with my fishing rod and fish whilst my mob farm makes me money, so I can get resources and loot and such, all kinds of money from up here and fish at the same time. It's very nice. Another thing that you guys had mentioned was is that over here you thought it might be a good addition to add something like an item frame for the lore items, and maybe a music box I was thinking as well. It just depends on what I actually have room for. I could probably do that. It would definitely take a little bit of uh, working around here, but I could probably find a way to squeeze those in there. There's a little bit of space underneath. I gotta have them pretty well jam-packed together, though, so I don't know. We'll see when we get there. But anyways, all that said and done, let's get into the actual adventuring today. Last time we defeated the Eye of Cthulhu after many, many minutes of just talking about my base. This time we're going to the beach. I'd like to head over to the Sulfurous Sea and see what's going on over there. I <laughs> get it? No. Oh, it's so funny. No pun intended, of course, but... You know, let's go see what's going on in the Sulphur Sea. I missed the acid rain, unfortunately. It is not going on anymore. It took me too long to get this episode going. So, I am just gonna have to go over there, and I think there is an item that will allow me to just start the acid rain. I'm pretty sure the Calamity mod adds in just about a little bit of everything when it comes to items to summon forth in events, because sandstorms, rains snowstorms and blizzards and such, that's all really important. And it's good to have items that you can just summon those with. It's really handy instead of just standing there waiting for one. Ah, God, it's really hard to navigate through this. I'm pretty sure that the Sulphur Sea is this way because the jungle is to the left, which means the dungeon is to the right, which means that the Sulphur Sea is also to the right because I'm pretty sure it uh, spawns behind the dungeon, I think. It was the place where uh, Yarum used to dump corpses or something like that. I don't remember. Something like that. I forget what the actual lore is. It's been a while, but we're gonna find out when we get over there, I'm sure. Hopefully we can find the, uh, what's it called? The angler over here. Just, you know, a little boy doing the backstroke in the middle of the irradiated sulfur wasteland right above the abyss. Yep. And this is a very large crimson. Very painful. Oh, hello. Okay, we're at the dungeon finally. Looks like I got pink blocks this time. Little eyeballs there in the side. Anything good inside of here? Anything at all whatsoever? I don't think, if I remember correctly, I'm probably gonna end up getting myself killed here. I think this just goes straight down. Yep, I think that's what that does. I can't risk it going down in there and getting myrtillated, so I'm good. Um, nothing spawns here, really. It looks like no water candles or anything like that. Let's let that water go in. It's a very wet world down here. All right, we gotta be getting close soon. It's got to be right around the corner. It's another one of these living trees. Let me just uh, dig a hole here. Oh, God, what is going on right now? Though the acid rain is going on. Oh, it just now started as I got here. That is such perfect timing. Oh, my God. Hang on a second. Okay. What do we got going on here? Irradiated. Your skin is burning. Oh, God, there's frogs. Ah, exploding frogs. I'm not ready for this. It's all right. We're going to do some murder over here. Okay, so we've got the Sulphur Sea. Uh, definitely looks a lot different than the last time that I was over here. This is the actual sea itself. Oh my god. Oh god, I'm gonna fall down to the abyss, aren't I? Nope, I'm not. <laughs> oh my god. I thought I was done for. Okay, I was just trying to explore. There's so much pain going on right now. I don't know what's happening right now. I'm getting, like, poisoned by the irradiation. I'm just trying to get out of the water, man. I'm gonna drown. Ah, there's some surface here to hide in. Oh my god, this is horrifying. This place is definitely a lot more aggressive than it used to be. Oh my god. There is so much danger over here. I'm gonna have to build a little bridge across here. Um, hang on a second. Let me... Let me do something. I can make a caustic tear. Is that... Is that... Okay, that's the thing that causes the acid rain. Okay, so... Can I... Can I just... Just for one second, please. What is that thing? That's a radiator. Ouch, God, excuse you. And this place is horrifying to look at. It is a it is a wasteland. Why have I done it again? I've done it again. It looks like that there's like a, a kind of a reasonable land here before you fall down into the abyss. Unlike before when it was literally just a hole 
you know, you were just doomed. All right, we're going to dig a safety hole out here. I can kind of see pretty good. It's not that dark, fortunately. There's so much going on right now. I'm not really taking any damage from these guys. I think I uh, kind of out-armor them, to tell you the truth. Now, this irradiation is not really that scary either. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't really do anything to me. Let me build my bridge. Okay, excuse you know what? I'm just going to hang out here for a second. Just, yeah, you do your thing. You're very effective. Excuse me. All right, I'll put you here. There we go. Work my way across. Coming through. Pardon me, frog. Pardon me, frog. The sulfur skies begin to clear. I didn't even get a chance to do anything. Did I even complete the event? No, I didn't even complete the event. Okay, we're going to try that again. But maybe after I explore a little bit here. Oh, God, this fish. I'm telling you what, these flying fish. Back in my day, fish used to swim and eh, fly through the sky. That's got a new soundtrack. You know what? This place, now that the chaos has kind of subsided a little bit here, it's kind of peaceful. And it looks really nice. I like this. And that soundtrack as well, it is very nice. Ouch, God, what is this thing? Orth... Oh, excuse me? Did you say grab it in a bug net? Nice. Uh, 5% bait power. Worth a Sarah in a jar. Interesting. When did I pick up a pink dungeon lamp? Whatever, we'll put one of those over here. Sure. Vapor apply? What are you? Divine fly. Summons a grand entity. Interesting. And vapor apply in a jar. Statues. Fire. So it's basically a firefly. Got a Nasher. Where's the Thrashers at? Where's the giant crocodiles? You know, all the times I was underwater, it didn't even dawn on me to just pull out the slime mount and I could have just hopped across the water here. That would have been a much smarter way to go about things. Come on, eel. Why do you look like that? Very strange. So these sulfuric scales, what are they used for? I got a good handful of them. Looks like I can make a little bit of equipment here. We got a rogue set. Grants underwater breathing. Interesting. I might have to switch up to rogue a little bit here if I'm going to be in the water. Effigy of Decay. Interesting. Nearby players can breathe underwater. The effect does not work in the abyss. Nearby players are also immune to sulfuric poisoning. So I could craft a bunch of these and put them down over here so they keep me safe. I wonder if that kind of works like a buff station so I can put it in my inventory and that uh, kind of just stays on me permanently. That'd be really handy. All right, let's kind of go underground a little bit here. See if there's anything that I can find. Ouch, God. Okay, so the bubbles over here are dangerous, I have learned. And what's really cool is that the these little plants from remnants that grow and glow over here, they kind of work really well with this place. Like, just the colors and everything. It looks really nice. There's a toxic catfish. Hello, toxic catfish. Aquatic urchin. Oh, urchin stingers. Interesting. They're not useful for anything, but they do drop from stuff. Stealth strike stick to enemies. Why I lose the ability to speak? There is a thrasher. He's a big fan of Metallica. Ah, very funny. Oh, you have no idea how close you were to death there. Is there something that I can use that hurts you a little bit more? Oh, yeah, this thing. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, the monstrous knives are really working. Uh, excuse me? Nathan? Hello? Okay, well, bye. <laughs> I'm just gonna let the kid <laughs> sink, sink to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Goodbye, Nathan. <laughs> Have fun in the abyss. Oh, that's funny. Okay, well, let's go ahead and explore down here. I see a chest over here. That's what I've been wanting for a while now. Hello. What have you got here? Broken water filter. Favorite this item to save natural acid rain spawns. And reduces the effect of sulfuric waters. I got a sulfur skin potion. Very nice. Yeah, the angler has left. I bet he has. I'll just bet he has. I suppose I should probably put on that uh, little amulet there. Whatever it's called. We'll throw... It's already on here, isn't it? No, it's not. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Menacing Ocean Amulet. Uh, we'll put that up. Well, there's a, like a constant debuff down here. We'll swap it out for that. Excuse you. What was that? A bubble got me. Yes, there we go. Underwater breathing and resilience to the sulfur poisoning down here. It's very slow now with that potion on. Should be able to explore a good bit down here. See how deep I can actually go down before I'm in trouble. Oh, this looks really cool. I remember back when the sulfur sea was just a little tiny, uh, just like a patch of yellow sand with nothing but a hole that led down to the abyss. Hey, Maddie the Angler has arrived. Yeah, don't ask what happened to the other guy. You don't want to know. Oh, cool. What is this? Wooden crate? Interesting. Some Dradon lab bits, age laboratory displays. Oh, sulf sulfur flounder. Okay, and I call it coating. Reduces creatures' ability to detect you in the abyss. Was that a bat? Are there bats down here spawning? Thanks. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Remnants. Even in the sulfur seas, the Remnants mod still finds a way to put bats in the game. This might be the entire episode here, just exploring this place. I think it's really cool. I actually really like this. Oh, God, what happened? Why can I not... Oh! Am I in the abyss now? 
Where is this? Where might I be? Because everything just got a lot darker. Am I? I'm not in the abyss yet, am I? No, but if I go to the surface, I die super fast like I'm in the abyss. Maybe there's like multiple layers to this now. Just gonna keep going down until I die. There's like vents here going on as well. There's like switches. Oh, it's the uh, radiation. Hang on, where is it? I gotta take a break every once in a while here. I'm gonna get pulverized. Oh, I can't mine any of that. Okay. Ouch. I also can't seem to not get killed by stuff. All right, we need to rise up to the surface here. Yeah, there must be like a secondary layer down there of the Sulfur Sea. Interesting. Okay, so let's make a caustic tier then. And we will do that event real quick. Actually get that done. The sulfur skies begin to clear. Um, I'd actually prefer they didn't. Oh, that's right. I'm a dummy. Hang on. Get that out of there. Let's try it again. No? Can I have it? It is not working. Why can I not make the rain happen? Well, I guess not today, unfortunately. For some reason, it just won't work. I don't know why. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Why did I have to go underwater to make it work? That doesn't make any sense. What's happening here? Okay, what? What's going on here? If I go up to the surface, it's gonna end? No? Oh, now all of a sudden it works. Okay. I see. I don't get any music this time, though. Well, I guess I don't get any music. I have to put my own in, but that's okay. It's all good. It looks like only two different kinds of enemies spawn. There's not really anything going on out here. There's the eel. They're down there, I guess, and the flying fish and the frogs. That's really it. I'm not seeing anything else. You know, you could spawn just a little bit more. How about we spice things up a little bit? You know, this is going to take a while if you guys don't just stand still. I'm not. I'm really not good with accuracy here. Ow. All right, it's halfway done. Very good. It's kind of anticlimactic, I'm not going to lie. There's not really a whole lot going on right now. Bring out the buff station here, as if I needed any help. Oh, almost there. Just a few more of these guys, and they'll be good to go. And there it is. The sulfur skies begin to clear. And I've gotten credit for defeating it. Very nice. Okay. Well, um, I didn't really get very much of anything from that, but a pile of these... Sulfur scales, so that's good. Let's head on back to the base then, I suppose. Hello, Helen, I would heal at you, but I don't really need to because, well, that was a pushover. There's probably more stuff in those crates down below. Might have to go back there and take a look. Uh, Caustic Croaker Staff, what do you do? I could, well, I could probably imagine. Yeah, that's what I thought. Summons one of you guys. I'm gonna guess it just keeps summoning them over and over and over again. That could be a really fun uh, little experience there. We'll save the Caustic Croaker Staff, the Ruthless one. Drop everything else sell the leftovers. All right, let's see. Did I even bother to grab any acid wood? I actually did not grab any acid wood, which is kind of important to crafting all these things. Well, whoopsie daisy. Okay, I guess we're going to take a quick trip back over there real quick. Uh, hello? How are you? Um, interesting. You're new. Who are you, Signathia? Greetings, land creature. I don't know what you are. You look like some kind of, what are you, like a sulfuric mermaid or something? I rise from this old sea in hopes of traveling and finding a certain idol from the old times, from when the sea was a beautiful rain for many. Do you have any hint about where I could find them? Uh, no, I have no idea, but have you met my buddy, uh, Amidius? I think you two'd get along. Blocks. Oh, you sell this stuff. Well, that would have been really handy. You sell the laboratory plating, so all the sunken sea stuff, all the sulfur sea stuff, including acid wood. We're gonna grab a good handful of this stuff. Won't ever have to go get any of that again. Wolfram plating, you're a little late to the party with all these things, but it's all the stuff that I built my base out of. Late game blocks. Ah, the sulfur pylon. General, thatch of calamity, Wolfram globes, sunken lamp, interesting. Rib cage wander places, places sulfurous ribs. What? Oh, oh, well that's kind of cool. Is that what those things are, the ribs? Okay, I thought they were just like weird plants, okay. It's good to know. Steam geyser, sulfurous column, lab console. This is cool. I like that. Plants? Oh, living grass. A strange fleshy substance birthed by the crimson and cared for by Dradon. Definitely gonna put that stuff up. Potted anemone, brain coral. Oh my goodness. Yes, I will take one of each. Oh, absolutely. Sulfurous cactus? Yeah, we're gonna have to make a base over here. Like a little uh, forward research center in the sulfur sea. Very nice. Well... Can I pick you up in my, my thing? No, I can't. You're immune to that? Well, okay, that's fine. I guess you can walk back. That's cool. I like that, though. All right, well, we met a new friend. Where did she move into? She's still... She's still hanging out over there. I might not actually have a space for her. Let me check down here real quick, see if I've got any room for her at all. 
Um, why are you, do you have a thing over your head now? Do you sell something new? We'll put her down here, Signathia, the Jelly Priestess. Jelly Priestess. Okay, so she's a, a jellyfish mermaid. Cool. Might as well check my daily divination while I'm here. I got a present. Nice. Gingerbread cookie. Okay, well, let's put some of this stuff down. Can I put any of these potted plants down? All right, that'll do for now. Let's see what all of the sulfur stuff I can make now. So I got a basher for melee. Inflicts irradiated on enemy hits. Interesting. It's shoddy. Of course it is. Just a giant... What is that? It almost looks like a dead fish. It's a giant irradiated stick. Give you the most aggressive bonks on the head you've ever seen. Toxabo converts wooden arrows into slow arrows that inflict irradiated. Interesting. I'll keep that in mind for later. What about mage? What do you have here? Parasitic Scepter. A spread of water leeches that latch onto enemies, dealing a stacking damage over time. That sounds really cool. Oh, look at that. It does just shoot out a bunch of leeches. That is interesting. I like it. It's godly as well. That could be handy. Anything else? Acid gun. Fires a stream of acid. Now that sounds like an... Hell yeah, that's an exciting time. Look at that. Does exactly what it says it does, and I'm still impressed by it. Rusty Beacon Prototype, a long-abandoned drone to support you. It hovers in place and releases toxic waves that inflict irradiated and poisoned. That might be nice to just have to put debuffs on everything. Like, no matter what I play, I could still have one of you around. Yeah, I think it's a turret. I don't think it actually follows me. Yeah, that's a sentry. So I can still put that down during boss fights, and that could be handy. Could be nice to just have, do you know what I mean? Inflict all those debuffs on people. There's contaminated bile for Rogue, a flask of sickly green irradiated bile which explodes. Stealth strikes make the explosion more violent and powerful. Maybe I will consider switching things up to uh, Rogue. There's some really interesting sounding weapons. I mean, all the classes seem like they're really cool. I don't really know if I want to miss any of them in particular. But I can only do so many, unfortunately, so we're just going to have to uh, go with it. Nothing fancy tools-wise. It looks like I've kind of seen everything. Acid rain. The music box there. I could make the chest. Effigy of Decay. That is the thing that I'm still missing. And there's that. So I can make at least two of them. I'll have to go back and do some farming off camera later. But that's all good. I've got one of those things now. Very cool looking. It's like a little skull right there. That is awesome. I like it. And the sulfuric waters empower you. That's well, not exactly what it does, but interesting. We'll definitely keep one of these things on me at all times. Might have to put one of those things down in the uh, my sunken sea base down there. I wonder how far the range is. We'll have to find out. All right, well, with all that said and done, I think I'm going to have to call that an episode well done. Uh, went over there and explored the Sulphur Seas. I like that they revamped it, much like the Sunken Seas. It looks really nice. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, very cool. I can't wait to go over there and explore more and fall down into the abyss and eventually die. I'm sure that's going to happen eventually. It almost did. There's just something about falling through. It was that area over there. That big open void right here falling down. I thought I was done for. I thought that was the end of me. There was no way out, but that's okay. I don't think I can remember the last time something in Terraria genuinely was nerve-wracking outside of, like, waiting for the Moon Lord to spawn in. But anyways, I'm gonna say we did a good job this time around, and I think even though we only did a little bit, we're gonna call it an episode here, when we can take down Krabulon in the next episode and maybe even push into the Crimson and Corruption stuff. That'll be a lot of fun. But anyways, like I said, I think I'm gonna call it an episode here, guys. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.